What brings you here? Well, because this is the Louis Ash La Fontaine Saint Jean de Dieu, now called Université de Santé Mentale, and there's been rumors here. There's, there's MK Ultra right up there in that building, right up there on the top floor. Yes. Okay. So what's so spectacular about this place? Well, what you know, you've been driving me nuts for so long over this building. Did you find anything when you went in? Well, well, I just found a lot. I, I just found a lot of weird stuff in there. Nothing because I couldn't go on the top floors. It was locked. It was locked, but, uh, but I went on a few floors, and I went on the other side too, and there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Okay, like what? MK Ultra. Okay, CIA but what's mind the proof? Control. Do you have the proof of this? No, we can't get it. That's the problem. It's locked. So nobody really knows. So then it becomes just a it's conspiracy. Um, exactly. The thing is, I know that there's been enough proof that's been going on uh, MK Ultra at this, at this place and another place back in the 60s, Allen Memorial. But the thing is, it's like... It's like almost impossible to get in, like 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 to the top floors. It's like it's locked, you know. And I went to the fourth floor, no, the third floor, because you can't go to the fourth. The elevator goes to the fourth, but to the back staircase, it goes up all the way to the eighth or ninth floor, and it's locked from the inside, from the outside, you know. Okay. And um, what about the other building? You went in? Yeah, I went in. Uh, I went in that building there. Uh, and uh, up there, it's just more, more of the same thing, except like I tried to go in the door and the alarm almost came on. Uh oh, that's not good. But it didn't come on. And you, you, you sort of see me, I was like, I was like, like, you know what I mean? There's a, there's a lot of mystery to this place. It's almost as if, as if you have to work here, you know? That's the thing. But that building, it's very scary. And I came here in 1988. And I went there with one of my friends. And the top floor, we heard inhuman screams. And those inhuman screams, people, uh, there was stuff on the internet that said there's stuff going on up there. I don't know if it's exactly CIA mind control or if it's the problem if it's just like like experimentation with drugs and, and various kinds of psych, psychiatric drugs you know mm. but there is something going on here definitely 100 100 percent i can feel it if you come here at night time it's even scarier really oh yeah oh yeah i came here because this friend. place looks very peaceful it does but you don't expect the, the inmates to be to be going crazy like you said they're probably all all uh, drugged up right mm. exactly but apparently Apparently, I, I feel that it's more, from people I've been told, more people outside. Like, like once they release outside, the more dangerous than inside of here. That's the whole thing. It could be. You know? So, uh, were, you, were, you, were you, like, waiting long when I was inside? Yeah, like, around 15 minutes or so. It felt, like, longer. Were you, were you saying, what the hell is, he, is this guy getting in, in himself into, right? No. I mean, I don't know. I was just... Daydreaming. <laughs> oh, okay, about this place, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, far out place over here, you know. But only us here, here, we come here, right? Only us. We have nothing else better to do than to come at a place like this. At the asylum. Yes. Right. You know, eh? So uh, yeah, that's it. You know, if we find out more information, we'll let you guys know. All right.